welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Chisum Okege and today I will be doing a chit chat get ready with me. I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. I kind of want to talk about why I decided to start this channel. Okay, so basically I'm not really someone who's ever had a hobby. Like when people ask me what I like to do in my free time, I don't really think I ever had an answer. I feel like when I was a lot younger, I don't really watch TV. Pretty much all I watched was YouTube. So YouTubers were pretty much the people that I idolized and I wanted to be like. And I I always wanted to start a channel, always. There was, I don't think there was ever a time in my life that I didn't want to start a channel. I used to have absolutely no confidence. I thought I was ugly, I thought I was annoying, I thought nobody would want to watch me. And honestly, sometimes I still think that way. But you just kind of have to realize, like, nobody cares. Like, okay, like, the people who don't think you're annoying are gonna watch you, and the people who do think you're annoying aren't gonna watch you, and that's really just life. And this was until extremely recently, too. Like, I would say quarantine is the time that I kind of started to gain a little bit of confidence. And I think that's kind of sad to say because I'm... 20 so to think that it took that long to start living life the way i wanted to i kind of just realized if i die do i want to be thinking about all the things i didn't do because i was too scared or just thought that people would think i was weird or annoying or whatever or do i not want to have any regrets i feel like at least now i can say i actually tried and started a youtube channel and going off that i also want to say that i quit everything i ever tried i quit every sport volleyball i quit so many things i quit i quit volleyball i quit swimming i quit track i quit i quit playing the saxophone i quit tennis honestly i just never had the motivation to do anything and i'm finding with youtube that even if i'm procrastinating an assignment or just feeling super depressed like i'm still gonna edit a video i'm still gonna edit a video i'm still gonna try to get it up because this is something i actually like doing and when you struggle with depression like me, it is extremely, extremely, extremely hard to find things to motivate you, things that you actually like doing. So I'm very grateful. I feel like growing up in my household, I'm Nigerian American. Like if I said I wanted to be a YouTuber or just do YouTube, it wasn't like a follow your dreams type vibe. Like my parents, would only think that the goals they wanted me to reach were the ones that were not out of my reach. And let me explain to you what I mean. If I told them I wanted to be a, a surgeon, like a, a heart surgeon, they would be like, oh my god, yes, you can do it. You can do anything. You're so smart. But if I told them, oh, it's niggas on YouTube making such and such and such. Like, I want to do that. They'd be like, no, what the fuck? Like, that's so... Can I curse? I don't care. They'd be like, no, you can't do that. You know how rare that is? You know how rare that is? When in reality, I actually don't know this for a fact, but it's probably harder to be a heart surgeon than it is to be... A youtuber and yet that's the dream that they're gonna support because it's basically their dream for me and not my dream for myself and still after such a long time of living on this earth I, I had to realize that like I'm really really not living for my parents like they will be gone by the time I am deep entrenched in my career and if I'm depressed hate my life, hate my job, and try to blame it on them, they're gonna be like, you didn't do this for me, you did this for you. And it's like, what can you really say to that? Because even if they did force you, like, it's still your life. I'm kind of going a little bit off topic, whatever. I'm trying to be a little bit more real on this channel because I was looking back at some of the videos I posted, even just this month, and I was feeling like, 
I'm kind of acting a little bit too posed, too professional. And I guess that's the calm major in me. Like I'll put on a presentation voice, but it's not really a presentation. And I would like for the people who come across my videos to get to see my real personality, but it is kind of hard talking to a camera. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, whenever I would see YouTubers talking about, oh, it's so hard. I'm talking to a camera. I'll be like, y'all are being dramatic. You're rich, like get over it. But it's really difficult because you have to realize nobody's in this room with me, not a single living soul. So I'm legitimately talking to myself, but I mean, I'd be doing that anyway, so it's not really something that I should feel like. It's, I think it's just because I know that people are going to watch this or see this eventually. I feel like I have to act a certain way. But at this point, if y'all don't like me for me, then what are we doing? So, <laughs> I forgot what I was even supposed to be talking Oh yeah, why I started this YouTube channel? So I talked about how my parents just wouldn't really support it, so that kind of made me hesitant to start. And honestly, I would kind of see the ways in which people talked about people who had a YouTube channel, kind of like, oh, like she, she thinks she's special or she's trying to be somebody. And people who think like that, I don't know, get a life, I guess because how's that affecting you? Wait, another reason why I started this YouTube channel, I really don't have many friends. Like with Corona, currently I live in an apartment with two roommates, but I don't have a car and I just don't really go out much at all. Like I don't live in a city, so it's not like anywhere I wanna go, I can walk. I have to take an Uber and honestly, Ubers are expensive. Especially for me, that I don't have any money. So I'm kind of just here all the time in my apartment. I literally wake up, go to online class, do schoolwork, go to sleep, then repeat. And it, it does get lonely, it can get lonely. I'm not even gonna try to cap on the internet and act like, oh, I have this, this, and this. I have all these friends. In reality, I'm lonely. Like when I read comments on my videos, like, I read every single comment, and obviously, why wouldn't I? I just started my channel. It really helps me and kind of makes my day. It gives me the feeling of, okay, I'm doing this for a reason. Like, my hours spent editing are not in vain. And I feel like with a lot of small YouTubers, they can definitely start feeling like, okay, well, what am I doing this for? Like, I'm not getting the brand deals. I'm not getting this and the third. But you have to realize that a lot of people started YouTube even without the promise of getting this. Like, people who started YouTube in the beginning started it without knowing that it could be an avenue toward financial success. Kind of have to make sure you're doing it for the right reasons or else you will i did my eyebrows really fast today anyway you will burn out because it can definitely take a toll like if you put in hours and hours and hours of work and don't really reap any reward you can start to feel like oh what am i doing this for but i don't feel that way especially when people comment and I don't know how posting this video in particular is going to go just because I haven't really done anything super personal. So I'm kind of all over the place. But I do want to continue to talk about when I was saying, oh, I, I quit everything that I ever tried, which is true. So I kind of wanted to make a promise to myself that I won't quit YouTube. I don't know how that's going to go, especially with uh, problems that I've been having with my mental health and stuff like that. But I'm gonna try my best. I do like it so far. And it's hard for me to keep promises I make to myself, which is kind of sad because I feel like those should be the promises that I treasure the most or that I try to keep the most because I should be the most important person in my life. But I will continuously help other people or keep promises to other people at the expense of my mental health and my well-being. 
So I guess I'll just talk about what I want this channel to be or what I envision this channel to be. I do want to start getting into fashion, but I'm not even going to lie to you. Doing fashion videos are, is fucking expensive. I'll just say that. The thing about chit chat get ready with me is I feel like if you let me, I will take an hour and a half on my makeup. And I can imagine doing this and, cause I don't usually talk when I do so I can imagine doing this and doing your makeup. Girl. But I'm trying to kind of move fast so that I'll be able to watch a lecture that I'm missing right now without so gonna watch it. That's one thing I like about Zoom online classes because I do not like waking up early. I do not like doing my makeup for school. It never turns out that good. What I wanted to do was a purple look to match my shirt. Sorry if I keep looking literally anywhere but the camera. My camera's right here. My mirror's right here. And then I connected my laptop to the camera so that it'll be a monitor and that's over here. So there's kind of a lot of things happening, but I'll, I promise I will get used to it. So purple, I don't know, should I do the primer? I never wear a primer. I'm just trying to be fancy for everyone. Honestly, I don't think it does anything. Oh, and another place that I could possibly be looking is outside of my window because I live on the first floor. So people would just kind of walk back and forth here. Sometimes people will stare at me because my blinds are open so that I can get light, which is fine. I mean, I should not be judging anyone for staring at me because if I was them, I'd probably be staring at me. So when it comes to makeup, I'm not a makeup artist. I honestly kind of just be doing anything. So I'm taking Zobo, Zobo from the Juvia's Place Masquerade Minis palette. So this is not matching my shirt. It's coming off pink, which, so I'm gonna try this thing. Hopefully it makes it darker. No, it didn't, but okay. <clears throat> Actually, actually, maybe it did. Down through the centuries, the notion that life is wrapped in a dream has been a pervasive theme of philosophers and poets. So doesn't it make sense that death too would be wrapped in dream? That after death, your conscious life would continue? Um, bottom lashes. I did want to try this just to give the look some sort of thing. This actually looks kind of good. I'm proud of myself. Um, so I did want to try this just to kind of give this look some sort of pizzazz. So what I'm doing is cutting these lashes, the strip lashes, cutting a little piece off and then uh, gluing them to the bottom and i think before i do this i want to do some bottom mascara i wish i could tell you guys i knew what i was doing
if y'all want, I'm I'm probably gonna fast forward through this part because it's kind of just a lot. I do a lot to my lips. If you want a whole overlining tutorial, I can definitely do that for you. Honestly, whatever you want to see me do, honestly, I'll do it. Okay, so I think I'm done. I think I really can't tell at all, but I think the bottom lashes turned out all right. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you like the video. Please subscribe. Bye.